Last week, we talked about how gastrocnemius and soleus are two of the main muscles of the calves. So let's continue on that discussion. Gastroc attaches on the femoral condyles, which are on the ends of the thigh bones or the femur, where the knee starts. So if you're looking at things from a posterior view or behind, you can see that. Condyle is one term for what we call bony landmarks, and it's a type of prominence on a bone. In this case, it provides an attachment point of connection for a muscle. Underneath this muscle is the soleus. It attaches on the posterior lower leg bones, primarily the fibula, and does not cross the knee joint. So we know because gastroc crosses the knee joint, it acts on the knee joint, right? We also know because soleus does not cross the knee joint, it does not act on the knee joint. Both of these muscles attach at the calcaneus or heel bone via the Achilles tendon. The isometric action of both of these muscles is to stabilize the foot and ankle. Isometric contraction is when the muscle is engaged, but not shortening or lengthening. A good example that's easy to visualize is doing a plank. The muscles are holding, but not in motion. Another muscle that I think sometimes gets forgotten is the deepest calf muscle, the posterior tibialis. This muscle starts deep attaching to the connective tissue between the tibia and fibula, and it inserts or connects to different areas on the plantar surface or the bottom of the foot. Its main action is creating plantar flexion, so pointing the toes, and inversion, which is pulling the inside arch up medially. It's important to note that these are not the only calf muscles. There are several layers of deep muscles. Again, as we discussed last week, it's important to create a balance of strengthening and lengthening poses in our yoga practices, and in our daily lives. Sometimes staff pose is a nice simple one where we pull the toes up without hyperextending our knees, and we can even use a strap if we want to, but we can pull those toes up, and that's putting them into dorsiflexion when we pull the toes towards the knees. And so that's going to stretch all of those muscles that do plantar flexion. The opposite of pulling the toes up is pointing the toes. 